And they do so now. And that's the siren for the start of the second term here at War Memorial Park. We're underway and Howard gets the tap. He was looking for Ferranato. Was cut off though. It wasn't the man in front. Spills out to the wing where Tardio overran the footy. So did his opponent in Marty Fitzgerald. Getty was caught in a tackle and then be cleared away by the bar who sent it towards half forward and take a peek who wants to mark that one. That one going to Debolfo. He wants to swing it to Andrew, just the 15, and they'll complete the switch towards the other half back. And it was a tough ball, but a good mark by Daniel O'Dwyer. Benny, Benny, lengthen Benny, Benny. O'Dwyer, he might look to switch it back. Didn't have many options, so just goes short to his skipper and Keenan Poser, who now. Runs through Smith on the man on the mark and sends it towards centre wing down the line. And a great mark taken by Seavers. Really strong grab on centre wing. And he can go straight back inside for the bar. The sides to spear it towards the bench. And it works out okay for Glenn. It spills out for Luke. He's got a bit of space. And we know how quick he can be. Takes on the tackler. Didn't have many options. Got the handle away. Still working out here for the borough. And then just having to get rid of the footy was Walsh. Goes back to Hasler who overran the footy. And the Tigers pressure sees him win the ball back. Now it's the borough's turn. If they can apply the pressure, they do. Ferranato with a great smother. Ball hits the deck. Hasler got it off to a teammate who's sells the candy, then takes on a tackler, then a worm burner ball inside, Bose just gets the pick up, got the handball away to McCubbin, he's just going to snap it around his body, to the top of the goal square for Smith, who's in a one-on-one, -on -one. both players almost fell to the ground, and across the face of goal, we'll have a boundary throw in for the Barra. Very well umpired, that one-on-one -on -one there between Smith, and I believe it was uh, Fitzgerald, uh, no, I don't think it was Fitzgerald in the end, uh, very well umpired, both were holding on to each other, both looking for the free, wasn't paid as Howard, and Jorgensen in the in the ruck there. How doing well to get it out. Taken high. No umpire's going to say no. And instead penalise him as well. On that occasion, Tom O'Sullivan looking for the free kick. But Tardio, great tackle. Gets the holding the ball free kick. And Heidelberg will look to exit out of their back 50. They do so in getting it over towards Del Bolfo, the debutant. As he moves it inside forward 50 for the Tigers. Getting to their first uh, was Sievers. He couldn't take it cleanly, which forces the right foot snap deep from the pocket from right to lead into a behind for the Tigers as they get the first score of the second quarter. 5-4-34, Heidelberg, Greensboro 3-4-22. They're so threatening when they move the ball from defence to attack. It was the ball forward on that occasion that gave it over to Clark, and he was the one to spear it inside 50 and put Greensboro on the back foot. So the pressure's high from both teams, and we see the score coming here for Heidelberg. We move to 5-4-34. So the Barra will clear it away. They go down the line, bars and flew for Heidelberg, but Greensboro with the numbers at the back, and now they'll look to go inside 50. It was a... High kick from Bowes looking for Smith. The taller man takes the mark. And great body positioning saw Smith with an opportunity. You called for him to get involved more, Zach, in his second term. And this is a good opportunity to do so. Yeah, it definitely is. He's just too big. He had a two-on-one there, like you said. At Daniel O'Dwyer and Matthew McInerney, who the poor, poor blokes had to deal with him in the air. And Smith just muscled his way through to get over the top and take a really strong contested mark. And now, this time, barring a reversal... Can have his first shot at goal for the afternoon. Well, there's a bit going on in the goal square, and I think Smith surely Matthew Hyde is pulling yeah. his hair out. Smith might want to hurry up before there is a reversal. He is taking his time, but Smith, we know he's been very good this year. He's looking for his 50th senior goal, Jamie Smith. 11 majors this year, of course. And will kick from just inside. 50 comes in and missing to the right. So another behind. It's time for the bar. 3-5-23 now. Heidelberg at 5-4-34. And Heidelberg, well, no problems. They'll just take it themselves. This is Poser, who bounced and got it all the way to 30 metres out of goal. And he finds a good mark to Getty. Had a couple of options in the Bolfos, a handball receive. He wants oh, no. to go to the corridor. It missed Poser. Now a chance for the Borough. Can they get it through to O'Dwyer Richards? He gets it over to McCubbin, who may have been tripped. Umpire allows it to go on. Tardio. Andrew has to absorb the tackle, shrugged it off instead. Getty on all fours, was held without the footy, and Heidelberg went it back in front of their bench. Got away with one, I think, there, the Tigers. There may have been a trip for McCubbin as Getty, though, goes towards his captain in Pozo, quickly goes over to Andrew. And just as the Tigers look to move it fast, Greensboro do well defensively to set up behind the player and ensure that they can't do so. As they look go to go down the line to a two-on-two, -two, Ball comes loose and goes to ground level in favour of Greensboro. Taking the mark there is O'Sullivan, 
who just holds up play and waits for a target inside forward 50 that he can kick to. Oh, yep. It's going to be downfield, a free kick for the Borough. Hit off it as oh. he kicked it, O'Sullivan. Are we looking at a reversal, though? No, we are not as of yet. Can't rule it out, though, as Ferronado wants to say good day to some of the Heidelberg players. It was a goal, though. Potentially, so... No, what's happening here? Oh, it, no, it is, yes. So okay. Glenn will take the free kick directly in front, 20 metres out. Bit of feeling in this one. Oh, actually, Glenn's going to give it away to Matthew Lewis, who's only kicked the three goals in his senior career for the Borough. And it's just his second game this year now mm. for Greensboro. Matthew Lewis, as Glenn goes to say day to a couple of Heidelberg players as well behind the ball. So it was the downfield was definitely there. He did get bumped as he kicked it. And that's what's given the shot here for the Borough. So Lewis coming in to give Borough the great second quarter start. He does. He kicks the goal. His first of the afternoon. He's fourth in his career. And Greensboro get this back within five points. 4-5-29. They trail the back-to-back -back champs. Heidelberg 5-4-34. It's great reward for Greensboro, who've been the better side this quarter. And there's a lot of feeling in this match now. You feel like the intensity has just gone up in this quarter, and it's really going to be on at the moment. Well, seeing how contested it is, this is where discipline really comes to the Ooh, forefront yeah. because you give away a few free kicks and downfields, that's where the momentum starts to turn. So both sides would want to be really careful to ensure... That they're clean and they're not giving away anything they shouldn't be. It's interesting because as it contested as it's been this quarter, there really hasn't been much stoppage. So back in the middle we go. Ferranato read the bouncing ball best, was tackled immediately by Getty. And Ferranato almost got that one away, but he seems to be the man inside the uh, stoppages for Greensboro at the moment. The Rucks are looking for him every time with their hitouts. This time it's Howard who got the tap. And there's Ferranato again, just on cue. Spirals one towards the Smith direction. It's going to bounce towards the goal line. Heidelberg through O'Dwyer. Got the handball away to Andrew. who can take a bounce. He's got plenty of space in front of him. Goes down the line, scoreboard side. Ball hobbling around. O'Dwyer. Call for a ball up. So center wing. In fact, it's the Greensboro bench side. We're going to have a ball up. Jorgensen. Up against Howard, with Smith sitting deep inside 50 for the bar, and Greensboro another clearance. They're starting to get on top. Here's O'Sullivan, 60 out from goal. Spears one inside, tough for Smith to get on the bounce. Heidelberg with the numbers. O'Dwyer got the handball away and was caught high. Tigers take advantage. They'll clear it away. Good kick to Geddes on his own. He's inside the defensive 50. Finds the captain in poser at half back. Left foot ball down the line's a good one. Mark taken. By the debutante, Kleiman. Be unsure of where to go next. Down the line might be the choice. That's what he does. Again, a few flies. Good mark taken out the back by Fitzgerald, who's starting to come into the game. And he goes corridor with a risky kick, but it works out perfectly. Now Glenn's got it. Too far out. For, to home from him. Gets it towards half four with a great ball too. And now the two to pocket to find McGovern. And McCubbin it is with a great lead and mark. It was James McCubbin actually with the kick inside to find Zach. <laughs> and now it is the latter who's still looking for his first goal of the game. Their leading goal kicker two years ago has come back to the club this year to provide some extra power up forward. The snap's not going to get to the line and it's punched through for a behind. And it's a four-point ball game. 4-6-30 four, plays 5-4-34. I think that's where teams can really challenge Heidelberg using the corridor and Greensboro. We know how fast they can be. And that speed there just overwhelmed Heidelberg. So Dwyer will take the kick out for Heidelberg on this occasion. He goes wide towards a teammate. It's a good kick, a really nice one. All the way out to Jack Andrew, who has it at right half back for the Tigers. He goes inside with a nice kick to Thompson. And he goes Oof. back outside. But that was probably not the right option as taking the intercept mark is Gigalito. Litty, who goes inside forward 50 to Smith. Oh. Out the back, once again using his strength. And again, in a two-on-one, Jamie Smith mm. comes out the victor, taking a nice contested mark. And this, on this occasion, can he get his first for the afternoon? Just looks so effortless. 
every time he's in a contest, it just he lifts his hands above his head and just grabs it. And it seems like no one can do anything about it at the moment. And it's an opportunity you want to make up for the easy one he missed earlier in the quarter. So Jamie Smith, Greensboro's leading goal kicker this year. Could this be his first? No, it's to the left-hand side this time. Similar angle as that first miss in this quarter. Overcompensates on this occasion. And the Borough go to 4 7 31. Trailing Heidelberg 5 4 34. We saw inaccuracy hurt Greensboro last week. 8 17 they finished with. They still trail by three points. Poser's got it outside defensive 50. Getty gives the stiff arm to the tackle. Back to Poser. Inboard kick is okay, but Tigers have numbers to back up. Clark in the middle of the ground. He's got numbers towards the outer side, and that's what he'll use. Martin was one. Luke came in to intercept things. Now Zach McCubbin, very far away from his usual place, is looking to impact, and it's going to work out. And Greensboro will have it at half back. so Zach McCubbin, the only one-on-one inside 50 is Jamie Smith and his opponent in Daniel O'Dwyer. So... Looks to be the man at the moment. Greensboro do have it. They'll go down the line towards half forward. Tough one to get. Lots of flies went out the back of absolutely everybody. Handball forward from Amalfi will work for Heidelberg, but then they run out of room. And the ball goes out of bounds for a boundary throw. So, yes, 4-7 to 5-4. So, two more scoring shots for the Borough. Yet they trail by three points. It was a similar scenario at this ground last week against Banyul. When they went down by 10 points. So Boundary throwing again. At the back. Excellent stuff there from O'Sullivan. Just got the handball away and then was crunching the tackle. Was his teammate. And will force another stoppage. So Heidelberg not letting him get anything easy. They still lead by just three. And the tap from Howard. Is he going to win the free? It is for blocking. Will the advantage be paid? It's not going to be. It's going to go back to Howard. <laughs> Quite a big bench just telling <laughs> O'Dwyer, don't worry about getting that footy. The, the ball's not for your teammate. It's going to go all the way back to Howard, who's about 65 out from goal. And watch for Smith here deep inside 50. Might have to contend with a couple again. So Howard. He's got Stalos on the lead. Ignores him. And we'll go to the top of the goal square to find that man, Smith. He's going to get a good run at it. This time punched away well by O'Dwyer and cleared by the Tigers. Kick was a bit uncertain. Bouncing ball works for Keys, And then he's caught in a huge tackle from Fitzgerald. That is a great play by the 19-year-old. And 50 metres out, Fitzgerald, he tells his players to go. He doesn't think he's got the distance. He's going to chip it again. Ferronado, Smith, it won't get to him. And O'Dwyer, in fact, poser. We'll take the intercept. Suppose that the captain doing what captains should usually do, standing up in big moments for their side. Takes a really good intercept mark and goes short and wide to O'Dwyer. Who, as most of Heidelberg want, just want to take this really slowly. That kick, definitely not 15 to Tardio as he goes long down the line and intercepted. Not oh. taking the mark, though, for the Borough. On that occasion is has uh, uh, on that occasion is McFawn who turns it over and gives the Tigers now an opportunity forward of the fifty. Jorgensen is in that contest, he couldn't take the mark. So it brings in a couple of Greensboro defenders in Johnston on this occasion to have a chance at moving this ball forward, and they do so. Johnson up towards Ferronado. Great spoil in the end by Heidelberg to make sure that this game this ball is brought back into contest as we'll get a ball up on the wing. No advantage. Advantage, advantaging either side as it's dead centre. Ball gets tossed up. Key's got the punch away at the back of the packet of Borough. Chance here for Walsh, who was undecided and then ran out of time to dispose of the footy. So the Tigers have it centre wing scoreboard side. It's Max Thompson with the possession of the footy. Ball to play on. Goes towards centre half forward. A lot of flyers, almost a mark taken. Ball hits the deck. Clark got the handball away. A chance for Wright. Did he get enough purchase on it? Is it coming back? Yes to the both of them. Greensboro certainly was touched, but it's a goal. And a Sam Wright major puts the lead out to nine points. 6-4-40 to 4-7-31. And we really have to take your chances against a side like Heidelberg, Tim, and it's proving why you need to at this instance with another goal for Heidelberg. Absolutely. 
Greensboro had two pretty great chances with Jamie Smith missing both set shots and that's what happens when you don't punish a good side like Heidelberg. They can go up the end. They've got that winning culture and they know how to score. And when you leave a player like Sam Wright open, it's really dangerous and it's costly for the borough. First multiple goal kicker for the Tigers today. Keys in the ruck will grab it from ground level and send it long and deep inside 50 again. Again, a lot of flies. And Greensboro with a dangerous kick out of defensive 50 will be intercepted by Tardio. He takes his man on and from 50 spears it inside to Barzan. They are just so efficient inside 50 to Tigers. It hasn't been down their end for much of this quarter. But they are now already looking to get their third goal of the term. And Barson's going to snap around here. Bit of a tight angle for him. And missing to the left. And the margin is now 10 points to the bit of the reigning premiers. 6-5-41. Uh, Heidelberg, Greensboro 4-7. 31. We're 16 minutes into the second quarter of the top two sides in Melbourne Grounds Division 1. In the Borough and Heidelberg. Only one loss between the two in 10 games. Heidelberg looking to go 6-0 and zero this year to start the season. They get it out of the fence here, 50 looking for Stalos. That was always going to be a tough ball for the veteran to grab. And the ball goes out of bounds for a boundary throw in. Stalos, one of just three players who played in Greensboro's last victory against Heidelberg back in 2019. Boundary throw in again. Keys got the tap over McFawn, who's doing some ruck work for the Borough. We'll have a secondary stoppage as the game just heads to a bit of a lull at this point. Again, it's pretty obvious. Nick's goal here is going to be a bit crucial for either side heading towards half time. Punch to space works in favour of Luke. He goes down the line towards a one-on-one. -on -one. Andrew flew but missed the footy and allowed his opponent to pick it up. Glenn with just a quick ball inside 50. Will it bounce well for Smith? Clever oh. tap forward for Bowes. Can he pick it up on the full? Great pressure coming from O'Dwyer. Heidelberg still under that pressure, though. It's going to be Glenn from the boundary. He tried the miracle and he misses to the near side. For the eighth behind, 4-8-32 Heidelberg. 6-5-41. Uh, and yeah. it's a nine-point ball game. Bit of craftiness from Smith there to try and bring Bose into it. Almost worked out, but they did get a score in the end, which is the positive side of things. So the captain, Poser, will take the kick out again for Heidelberg. Takes a bounce. There's no Greensboro player wants to come up to him. So handballs it off to McInerney. Goes short. Nice one up to Jack Andrew. He will now take his time. Vindatoli in his ear telling him what to do. To a contest, flying from back, from the back, uncontested as well. Taking the intercept is Lawler as he goes inside quickly. A dangerous one to Stellis, who does well on the volley to pick it up and keep control of the ball and taken high there, getting the free kick. Was O'Sullivan putting his head over it? So Greensboro will get a chance to go forward. They go wide instead, taking their time here. Ah, uh, the Borough, as Heidelberg have set up so well defensively behind the ball to make life difficult for them. Here is James McCubbin at right half back. His kick's going to be turned over. It's brought Kleeman, the debutant, into the contest. Getting a quick handball under pressure is O'Dwyer Richards, who helps that ball get inside forward 50. Not being able to get there for the mark is Keyes, who juggles it. Gets it back all the way to McInerney now. And a nice composed kick from him. Finds Kleeman out wide. And Heidelberg can just take a breath. They chip it, just the 15 to Getty, right in front of our commentary position. Can go in board, short ball, just the 15 again. This one is for Poser. That was like two metres. <laughs> and he'll just go back, so they're in defensive 50. This is the ball for. This time they'll go to the Greensboro bench wing. Dwyer, good kick to Honey, who's been a bit quiet today, Nathan Honey, after a good season so far. He'll go with the left towards half forward. There's going to be a really tough mark to get for his teammate in Thompson, who did really well, but the borough just through weight of numbers. And then Johnston will go down the line. And then a good intercept again from Holderberg. So they'll win it back. Honey will try again towards half forward. This time a bit deeper inside. Barzen came in late and took a really strong contested mark. It's a tight angle for him, but seems confident enough that he wants to go back and have a shot. And his marking, Tim, is why he has been the man to go to inside 50 so far. Well, it's why he's in the top three of the leading goal kickers 
in the division this year. His aerial ability and just ability to be really smart with his leads, um, presenting when his teammates are such good kicks upfield. And this would take his best bit of footy from here right along the boundary. But I wouldn't put it past him. It'd be the most impressive goal of the day, that's for sure. Bars him from just inside the paint of 50. Not a bad looking kick. Huge goal from Zane Barzen. And he gets on the board for the afternoon for the first time today. And they move now, the reigning premiers, to 7 5 47. Greensboro 4 8 32. It's a 15 point lead. I think a game high 15 point lead now. And that's a really impressive finish from one of their sharpshooters. 100%. And he hasn't kicked a goal yet this afternoon. So it's good that finally Zane Bars can get on the board. And he continues his record of. Kicking a goal in every game this season, does Zane Barsden. <laughs> Goes to show how important he is. Definitely is. Back in the middle. This occasion, Howard and Keys ruck it out. Neither of them could win it on their occasion. It's going to go through Ferranado forward. He will get a free kick for holding as his handball wasn't clean enough to move that inside forward 50. But he'll get another chance now. To give the Borough a chance at getting a response. His high kick towards the top of the goal square will be intercepted by Martin. As Smith, it looked like he slipped behind play as he tried to get to that contest. He goes short to McInerney, does Martin. And now McInerney being yelled at from all directions. Ends up just going the safe option over to Kieran Andrew. Deep in Heidelberg's back pocket. Nice shipping kick. Will work though. So he gets that up and further towards goal as Clark drops a sitter and brings a lot of pressure towards himself, which turns into a turnover as Bowes was tripped as he tried to clear from the stoppage and is wrapped up for a ball up. Greensboro bench now adamant, leading for a trip. Adamant, first holding the ball and then for the trip. You're right, got neither. There will be a stoppage in sit instead. Keys gets the tap out to space for Glenn to hand it off to the speedy Luke. He got the handball away as well. And then a snapping goal right towards the line. He's going to be out of bounds on the full across the face. No, touched. Touched on the end there by Smith, I think. So boundary throw in. Right, umpires are just going to confer. I think it bounced just about on the goal line. I think that's what the umpires are conferring Goal umpire about. had said boundary throw in. That's what he signaled. It will be indeed a boundary throw in. So deep inside 50 for the borough. As we tick towards the 23-minute mark of his second term, a really important opportunity here. Boundary throwing comes in. Smith in the ruck. Just kicked it off the well, mid-air, I should say. Ferranato, sheer strength, and then goes with the goal. That is a ridiculous behind. 4-9, oh. 33, uh, Greensboro. Heidelberg, 7 5 47. That was it's unbelievable. unbelievable. He even managed to get the ball on his boots towards goal from that direction. He yeah. wasn't even facing the no, goal. That would have been definitely a goal of the year contender. Certainly a point of the year contender, but that's now nine behinds for Greensboro, who still trial by 14 points. So Poser will take it out of the goal square for the Tigers. He's had to do that on numerous oh. occasions. It's Clark, that's the second mark he's dropped uncontested. This time it's going to work out in the end as Tardio takes the mark and goes. Uses his legs to move that up towards half forward. Not going to work out for the Tigers on this occasion as Greensboro will look to send it back in towards Glenn on this occasion. Andrew read it better though and takes the intercept mark as he quickly goes across to DeBolfo, De the debutant. A handball over to Clark so he doesn't have to mark it on this occasion. Now he goes inside forward 50 wide. To Barzan, it will work for Heidelberg. They're looking super dangerous now on this occasion to go and score and really put damage and punishment on Greensboro for not taking their opportunities. Barzan really taking his time to kick this, but ends up finding a wide open Jorgensen who can go back from about 48 to 50 metres out from goal on the slight angle and potentially make matters worse for the borough. Geez, the Tigers are so good at opening up the angles. It wasn't working for them there on the uh, Greensboro bench wing. They go to the Bolfo, who takes the game on, gets it over to Clark, who finds Barzen, and then goes for the easier option. And now a shot on goal for Jorgensen. So Jorgensen hasn't been able to get on the scoreboard today. Started in the ruck as well. Now has a chance at goal. That one never looked online. It's hugged that boundary, po boundary <laughs> that point post, sorry, and gone out of bounds on the full. So... Greensboro will breathe a sigh of relief. One goal five, the Borough have kicked <laughs> in this term. You don't want to say it's going to be costly for them, but as they still trail by 14 points, 
you Scott definitely Martin. feel like this margin should be tighter, and you, you can't give Hodderberg too many chances. They'll try and run this one out of defensive 50, which they get it to centre half back, and then they'll go wide to a two on one that favours the Borough. And it was a tough ball to win, but it is one now, and slow to his feet. I think that might be Johnston. It is. Gets the mark, but hasn't got many options that he likes. He's usually very good by foot. Down the line he goes. He's going to look for Howard, but there's a man in front for the Tigers. It takes a really good mark, and then they're going to switch this ball. It might be a dangerous one. The mark was dropped on that occasion by Schneering, but they keep moving through Jorgensen. The big man takes a bounce in the middle of the ground, goes inside 50, spearing ball. Mark dropped by the Borough. They've got numbers to kill this footy, though, and Johnson again, the ever-so-reliable captain, goes towards the outer side for Rose Sullivan. Wants to play on, does so towards half forward to a one on one. Martin got a hand onto it, and there is your half time siren at Greensboro War Memorial Park. Another fantastic term of football, but it's Holderberg that did all the damage in that quarter. They led by 11 at quarter time, and at half time, they'll lead by 14. 7 5 47, the Tigers, to Greensboro, who are 4 9 33. Your goal kicker so far